evening. I'd like to start on a positive note about our wonderful maintenance highway crew. They always, always take care of our streets in the storm. For years and years, the people I worked with at the high school will tell you how I bragged about how well Darby took care of things. Now I have to go negative, and some of it is, is a little personal to me, so I would hope you would bear with me. Um, the issue with the charter school was initially presented at a, a meeting, uh, a committee meeting, and with the objective of passing it at the following meeting without appropriate input, which was um, not really a way to go about things if you want to accomplish something positive uh, to try to push something through like that. Uh, the following meeting, uh, when there were quite a number of people there from Visions, and I can tell you for a fact that there were a lot of lies about their abilities, about how they handled their children. There were lies in their application of how many children they can have. And they were very, very mean. My neighbor had to be escorted home by the police. Miss Natale, you all know her. These are not good people. They are not people you want around your children, my children, anybody's children. And charter schools take from the community. But my problem with this is, that night, it was obvious what was going to happen, no matter how many residents spoke, no matter who said what, it was obvious what you were going to do. And that is offensive. It's inappropriate. And it is not serving the people of this community. It is very disappointing and hurtful that about two years ago, I'm not sure the exact time, um, there was uh, use of that building that was suggested for a drug rehab, which as we know, our communities desperately need. I came here, I spoke for it a couple of times. There are a number of meetings. There are meetings at this table, we'll come back to it. People made a presentation and many people in the community spoke against it. And your choice as a council, and most of you are on council then, was to, to say no to it because the residents asked you to say no to it. These people whose children are in vision have been sold a bill of goods by the Vision Charter Academy people. Their test scores are in the bottom. And I don't know if you noticed, but most of them are immigrants. They're being taken advantage of. Their children are not getting a good education. And they will in Penguin. They will at high school. My children are products, and some of you are. On my other personal note, and please bear with me, Chief. Um, I would really appreciate it if you hear me out. Please, it's, it, it's really, this is difficult. We, we have to, we have to adhere. You know what, so my First Amendment rights. Yeah. What, is there somebody behind me to speak? Uh, yes, there is. Thank you. So, you don't want to hear what I have to say? We, we have no, no, you don't want to hear what I have to say. Um, the next person, can you Public comment is till eight o'clock. That's your rules. We have three minutes. You have a half hour. We have three minutes. Well, then why do you have a half hour written in your minutes. rules? I know. I the next like person, the I next person the that was written down would be um, Reverend Victor Jimenez. Come up. 